turn back to tax reform because we're up 142 right now. We're getting awfully close to that 25K level. The House is going to be voting on the final tax bill tomorrow afternoon. Now, the president keeps touting this as the biggest tax cut ever. And while it's great for corporations, and there's nothing wrong with that, and it's also great for a lot of fat cat private equity investors, uh, and there's something wrong with that, like this guy, Steve Schwartzman, who has made over $400 million in one year. And percentage-wise, well, guess what? His tax bracket is actually lower than a New York City cop. How do you like that? And it's because he calls his income investment. The president promised to fix this, remember? There are reasons the hedge fund managers are all donating to Hillary Clinton's campaign, and not to mine. Everybody getting rich off the rig system and who want nothing to change and nothing, they don't want anything to change. They want to keep it the way it is, are throwing their money at Hillary Clinton. We will eliminate the carried interest deduction, well-known deduction, and other special interest loopholes that have been so good for Wall Street investors and for people like me. But neither the House nor the Senate ever bothered to address this. So those private equity fat cats get away with paying investment taxes instead of income taxes. And that is just wrong. So why doesn't anyone care? Do you consider that carried interest income or investment? Um, well, again, it, it's it's technically it's it's carried interest uh, in in the way that it's allocated in the tax system, also known as profits interest. So then you believe it should get a lower tax rate? Uh, it, it, again, it, it's it's a complicated issue. It's not that much money. It's not that much money. It's not that much money. No, it's not that much money. I mean, who cares about a hundred billion dollars? Maybe Steven Mnuchin doesn't care about a hundred billion dollars or his billionaire friends. But come on. You mean to tell me that special interest lobbyists are so alive and well in Washington that they convinced the entire House and the entire Senate to ignore this inequity? I'm beginning to wonder if our country is becoming ungovernable. Because I'll tell you one thing, our founding fathers never, ever anticipated a swamp like the one we have today.